So of course, you know, lifting weights and, and being strong doesn't win fights. Um, having having great time and, and being a very very smart and intelligent fighter uh, wins fights. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Barry Robinson, A Million Styles Boxing, www.amillionstylesboxing.com. Guys, I made an awesome, awesome footwork training video for you guys. It's free. Go to the website, sign up, enter your name, enter your email address, sign up, get that video today. Okay, you guys that need customized fight breakdowns, you got a fight coming up, you need the edge over your opponent, I'm your guy, I'm your guy. Media types, if you want to write credible stories, I'm your guy. Order your customized film study breakdown for me today on the website. Also, guys, while you're on the website, visit the shop. Only name brand, name brand apparel from gloves to boxing shorts to running shoes. It's all there at a million styles boxing make sure you guys check that out also guys big fight coming up September 14th Mayweather versus Canelo Alvarez of course I broke down both fighters make sure you guys visit the playlist do not place a bet do not debate with your friends do not watch this fight without watching my videos because when you watch the fight it's now going to be worth your money after you have watched my videos and watch me break down the action that will be happening on September 14th. Last but not least, Vimeo.com slash on demand slash left hook science. Better left hook today, more power, more results, more speed, better impact, period. I break the I break the left hook down, how to train it, and the different left hooks. Obviously, we all know that there's five, six, seven different left hooks you could throw, or right hooks if you're elite, you know, if you're a southpaw. And we not only break those down, but we also go over ways to train those. So make sure you guys get that video today. All right, let's get into this. First, we're going to start with uh, Sweet Pea, Pernell Whitaker, and Fundamentals. You know, people go crazy. They said, oh, man, this guy was so slick. He was super slick. But uh, I'm here to tell you today, he had great fundamentals. Let's check that out. Okay, let's check that out one more time. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure, obviously, we don't need to spend all day on this. Um, uh, Sweet Pea's using his eyes, so therefore he can see the right hand, which is the punch everybody wants to hit the south pole with, and they want to come back with the left hook, of course. So after he slips, uh, he pivots the left hook. Pivots on the left hook. Now, you say, Barry, that's so small that we all know that, but let's talk about fundamentals because we all talk about Purnell being slick. Well, there's nothing slick about what he's doing. It's just good fundamentals. In the gym, you come into the gym, your coach starts teaching you hopefully footwork and defense first instead of punching. But you come into the gym, you learn how to slip, slip. You do a drill. He makes you slip. Six months, you hate the coach, but you know what? You now know how to slip a punch. And in a fight, big thousands of people watching, you should be able to have good fundamentals and slip a punch. You should have good fundamentals to know that most gyms all over the world teach right hand, left hand, left hand, right hand. Why? I'm not sure. It's 2013. But that's what they teach. Right hand, left hand, left hand, right hand. So good fundamentals would be to know, you know what? Right hand, the left hand is probably coming back. Uh, good fundamentals is... Remember, in the beginning, you came to the gym, your coach made you pivot, 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 pivot. You hated it. It was so boring. Why am I just pivoting? I want to throw punches. Please, please, please. Well, you did it so that when you get to a pro fight, you can pivot out of the way of a punch. No problem. Fundamentals, capital F-U-N. All right, let's continue to move. The next, uh, we'll touch on, let's check out my man Andre Ward here and my favorite referee, Steve Smoker, who happens to know more about boxing than your average bear. Okay, so here you're going to see, this is significant. Let me, let me, let me actually, actually, let's watch the technique really quick. You see Andre Ward go back to the ropes and turn. Now, let me tell, let me say why I'm pointing this particular spot out. Because Steve Smoker, the referee, has been watching this fight the entire time. And he's been watching Andre Ward, grown man Carl Frosch, up against the ropes all fight. Carl Frosch does not even know anything about control is fun or ring generalship. So he's not, 
He just, and I love Carl Frosch. Anybody that's listened to my videos, I like Carl Frosch. So this is not a bash Carl Frosch, but he does need to go to America, like I suggested, and ask Bernard Hopkins, hey, can I study under you, watch you train, be a part of your training for one year. But who, you know, I'm, I don't listen to Barry. Just, anyway, so we'll keep it moving. So again, Steve Smoker gets excited, which we'll show you why, because the whole fight, Andre Ward's been bullying Carl Frosch, pressing him up against the ropes. But here you're going to see in the later rounds when Andre Ward's a little bit tired, Carl Frosch try to press Andre Ward up against the ropes. Look at Andre's great technique. First, he's going to step out with his foot to the left, duck the punch, right? From here, let's watch the next thing he does. Places his hand on Carl Frosch's back. Great technique. At a certain level, you're tired. You got to use your hands. You can't just pivot. Anyway, like we just saw Purnell do it. But that's only when you need it. Only when you need it. So it, he puts his hand on him and turn him. Now let's check this out. He gets off the ropes. Now let's check this out. We're going to turn the sound off for this because I want to show you how Steve Smoga appreciates good boxing. If you listen very carefully, watch him get ready to come because he thinks there's going to be a clinch and break him. And he's been seeing... But because he's been seeing Andre Ward press Carl Frosch up against, when Carl Frosch turned him, he's just like, damn, good move. Next level, buddy. Next level. But anyway, listen to this. Another sharp little right hand. Frosch is trying to bustle his way in. You heard Steve Smoker one more time? Good move. Good move. He's like, damn, finally some smart boxing today. Frosch is trying to bustle his way in. Okay, let's move along. So, uh, by the way, I'm going to repeat, that's not a badge Carl Frosch. I love Carl Frosch. Love his persona. I love, you know, love what he offers, but he needs to get better. He needs to improve. But unfortunately, sometimes these guys don't want to uh, leave the UK. Okay, anyway, next we're going to finish off with my man Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Let's check him out and how he sets up offense. So you can see him turn a beautiful technique. Okay, left hand, left hand. Let's continue to watch this. Ooh, wee. Okay. Okay. So let's watch that one more time. Let's watch uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. initiate offense. So here you see them locked up right here. They're just uh, in front of each other. Watch Cesar. He's going to pivot off small, slight to the right here. Very small, very slight. Creates an angle, right? Now, what you got to love about it is. See, some people pivot and they don't really understand pivoting because they just see something and they mimic it. They don't really do drills and understand why they're doing what they're doing. So, but here you want to see uh, Cesar, as he's pivoting, set his shoulders up, set his body up to use his left hand. Let's watch him do that. As you can see him, set his body up to use the left hand. Now when he's in position, he's going to double his left hand up, right? It's very intelligent combination. So you see left to the body, left to the head. He continues, right? Wants to throw the right hand, but it's not there. So here you're going to see this guy. He's game. He's going to initiate offense, right? Another pro fighter. He's going to initiate offense. He's going to start that offense with his jab. So this video is grainy because it's from the 85 or something like that. But he's going to see Julio Cesar touch his jab with the left hand. And because he touched his jab, that means he could see what's coming next. What's coming next? The straight left hand, of course. Basics, right? Of course, my man Julio Cesar Chavez slips that. Okay, let's see what he does off of this slip. This is real nice. He understands that the right hand is coming back. So he pulls his head out of the way of the right hand, which, again, two fundamentals, a slip, a pull, a pivot. These are all fundamentals. No secrets. No secrets. Barry's not giving away boxing secrets. These are fundamentals. If you're not learning these things in your gym, I, I don't know what to tell you. Now, he pulls away from the right hand. Now, look at this turn here. Very slight. Very slight, maybe 45 degrees. Give him a 45 degree pivot. You could pivot at 45, 90, 180. But listen, that's not what this video is about. Make sure you guys sign up to the website. Get on the email list and stay tuned because I'm going to be teaching how to train the things that I talk about in my film studies very soon. But you got to be on the email list to be a part of that. So here you're going to see him give him that small 45 degree angle after he pulls off of this right hand. Off of that, again... Off of that pivot. So you don't see him pivot in, set his body up to throw a punch. Now he's going to pivot out and set his body up to throw a punch. Okay? Which is, at this particular moment, is going to be a left uppercut. Okay? Followed by a right uppercut. And a right hand up the middle. Okay? So now you think about the combinations this man has thrown 
And what I said earlier, left, right, left, right. Anyway, so you see them throw left, left to the body after create an angle. Now you see them throw a right, left, right to the body after create an angle. Now, and mind you, those combinations were underneath. They were underneath. So when you hear somebody yell, go to the body, son, hit that. Go underneath. Well, there's a way to do it. Julio Cesar Chavez is showing us the way to do that. So now you're going to see... Julio are in good position here. He leans over. A beautiful technique. Look at him slightly just lean over to his left here. Left uppercut. Now he could come up the middle. And that's all she wrote. Let's watch that fast. Man, the small things, all things. Gotta love the sport of boxing inside the ring. Don't care about the fighters' personal lives. Now, turn inside. Left hand, left hand. Okay. Catch, if I catch the jab, I can see the left hand come and slip, pull, turn, set up offense. Now I'm going to come straight up the middle after I done came underneath. That's all she wrote. Thank you guys for watching. Visit the website. Get that left hook science. Appreciate you guys. I'm out. Let me work. Please, let me work. Get that water. He about to, he about to get this work. He about to get this work. He gonna get this work. He gonna get this work.